Many years ago, when I used to work in an office, one of my favourite things to do would be going past the cafe to get a coffee in the morning and a giant muffin. I know, that's my favourite part of the day, of course, every time I'm eating. But these are truly special muffins. Why? Well, they're a little bit healthy and you don't feel as guilty eating them. You know, sometimes muffins have loads of butter in them. These ones are not. These ones are packed with lots of fruit and veggies. So, to start with, it's two cups of self-raising flour one and a half cups of wholemeal flour. I like to use a combination of that self-raising flour and wholemeal just because it gives it a little bit of a lighter feel to it. One teaspoon of baking powder and that's going to help it rise also. And I've got half a cup of caster sugar, half a cup of almond meal, and a good tablespoon, and I say a tablespoon because you need to taste the cinnamon in this. So, you know, be generous. We also want half a cup of shredded coconut. So we'll just combine all that together and then we can start adding the wet ingredients. So three eggs for this. And, you know, I've made a well in the centre. We just want to pop that straight in there. You know, if you can use free range eggs, please do. And there you go. And you start to bring in the sides of this mixture. This will ensure that there won't be any lumps in our batter. Don't get overly excited when you're doing this and try to bring too much in together because you will get lumps. You can see and this is getting quite thick now, so we're ready for the remaining of the wet ingredients. So I've got one and a half cups of orange juice. And it sounds a little bit interesting instead of using milk or cream, but it really works. And you can use any type of juice. I've done this with apple juice is wonderful. Pear juice is fantastic. So, you know, give it a try. It's just a little bit lighter than when you're using cream or milk. A little bit more. And this is where you really need some muscles <laughs> because you need to give that a really good stir to make sure that we don't get any of those pockets of flour there, okay? So you can see it's all coming together. All right, so I just want to show you the right consistency of this. You can see it's still a little bit thick and it's just folding on itself. You know, that's the right amount of liquid in there. Perfect. So this is where you can start to be a little bit creative in the kitchen. Today I'm going to be using some apples, I'm going to grate some carrot and I'm going to add blueberries to this. Depending on the season, depending what you've got in the fridge, you can use whatever you like. I said I'm making giant muffins, so I've got an extra large muffin tin here. And look, the best way to start filling these, two big spoons and just scraping each one. This just makes it easier and it won't go everywhere. You know, with muffins, you don't want them to stick. So get yourself a really good non-stick muffin tin like this. And I'm filling these up at least three quarters full because I do want them to rise quite high. You know, they are giant muffins. Okay, so to finish these off, I've just reserved a cheek of that apple and I'm going to just finely slice this. This is just to make them look, you know the ones that you get in the cafe that have got all those beautiful garnishes on the top? This is what they do. So two pieces of apple or three, just fan that on the top, just like so. You see straight away, as soon as that heat hits that, it'll almost dry the apple out. It's going to look quite beautiful. And just for a little bit of crunch on the top, I've got some sugar here, so demerara sugar, and just a good sprinkling of that. Not too much, again. And that's it, into the oven, 180 degrees for about 15 minutes. But I say 15 minutes, just keep an eye on them. And as soon as they're nice and golden brown and they've risen quite nicely, they'll be ready. Muffins are looking fantastic. And look, I've allowed them to cool slightly. You can see that just helps them come out. Look at that, huge muffin. But like I said at breakfast, these go down a treat. Nice little coffee on the side. You know, you won't be hungry until lunch after these. 
And look, have a look at these. Oh, that's a good muffin, a breakfast muffin, full of flavours. Straight away, as soon as you break into that, I'm smelling blueberries, I'm smelling the apple. I love that, seriously, that's a good muffin.